What's up everybody? This is Danny and we have seen a ton of iPhone 6 leaks this year. We've seen a ton of these dummy units. Actually, I've had a few videos of my own, but this one is a little bit different because this is a functional working dummy unit that is running out there and it comes in this inconspicuous box. It actually says iPhone 5, but as you can see, this is no iPhone 5. This looks exactly like the iPhone 6 dumb units that were leaked earlier this year. This is just a more complete clone of it. Even down to the box, the literature, and even all of the accessories, they've cloned the iPhone down to a T. So this is pretty incredible how much detail they've actually gone into to make it look like the iPhone. Of course, naturally, I was super excited to peel the plastic off and boot this thing up. And it's very surprising when you actually power this device on, you actually get the Apple splash screen here, which is kind of crazy because if you didn't know any better, you would think this is the new iPhone 6. And of course, it is not. This is an iPhone 6 clone that is running a heavily skinned version of Android to make it look like iOS 8 on this 4.7 inch display. I'm actually impressed how detailed the skin actually is. It looks a lot like iOS 8. Yeah, of course, some of the fonts aren't quite correct and some of the actual icons aren't correct, but the gestures are still there. The home button works the same and it's actually fairly impressive. But what's more impressive is the actual build of this working iPhone 6 clone because this looks exactly like the dumb units that we've already seen earlier this year. All of the buttons, the speaker placement, the SIM tray, all that stuff looks exactly like the dumb units. But of course, in this clone, you get the Apple logo on the back. So it looks a lot cleaner and looks more like a complete unit. But you're going to see that the camera protrudes from this working unit. It looks more like the earlier dummies that we've seen with that protruding camera. So on the newer dummies, we do not see that. It is more flush. And you can actually see with the working screen how much taller the new iPhone 6 might be compared to the iPhone 5s. You can see how much thinner this clone is compared to the iPhone 5s and that correlates to the dumb units that we've seen earlier this year. And here is the 5.5 inch iPhone 6 mock-up and you can see how much smaller the 4.7 inch model is which I think is a better sweet spot but we may see this 5.5 inch iPhone 6 later next year. Of course, this is all just rumor and speculation. So if you're curious, here is the Samsung Galaxy S5 next to the iPhone 6 clone. And you can see that the iPhone 6 clone is a little bit smaller than the S5. All right, so enough of the comparisons. I'm pretty sure you just want to see what this functioning iPhone 6 clone can do. So we're going to jump right into the settings. And as you can see, this is also skinned to make it look just like iOS 8. But of course, there are some spelling errors or is that a new Safari app? I mean, Safiri, it's already worth it. You might as well buy it just for that. But actually, thank God you can actually change this to English. I'd rather have Safiri than to actually try to decipher this in Chinese. But look at how good the skin is. You can actually go into assistive touch. It looks just like iOS 8. So it's pretty impressive, as I stated before. You can see some hints of Android in the settings, such as developers options, which I went in and changed the animation scale just to make things a little bit snappier. But I was on a quest to find out exactly what version of Android this was running and that the system UI says it is running Android 4.2.2. I thought it was actually going to be worse than that. But on CPU-Z, it says it's running a MediaTek 2.4 GHz quad-core processor with the Mali 400 GPU and it also has 2 GB of RAM. So I thought it was going to be much worse than that actually the specs aren't too bad and it says here that this is the iphone 5c so i'm not sure exactly how accurate this is but it says the screen resolution is 540 by 960 with 240 ppi I was actually super surprised when I saw that Google Play Store worked right out of the box. I thought I would have to install an APK or do a workaround or use some third party app stores to get the apps that I wanted. But actually, as you can see here, the Google Play Store so far is functioning fine for me. So the installs are just like any other Android phone. You just pick the app and hit install and hit accept and I haven't had too many issues so far I mean I've had some issues and I'll show you that later on but here you can even download games like Temple Run 
And what I liked about this is that the Mali 400 GPU does completely fine, but what's awesome about this functioning dumb unit is that you can get an idea of what gaming would be like on the iPhone 6 if this was the final design. And it feels good in the hand actually for a game like Temple Run. And I just like the way that the iPhone 6 clone actually feels in the hand and actually runs Temple Run without an issue at all. So I think gaming might be great on the iPhone 6. The YouTube app works so far without an issue for me. It is an older version of YouTube and that's the problem that I was coming across and the speaker is fairly weak on this clone but I didn't expect anything great. But here is the problem that I'm having with YouTube and some of the other Google apps. If you try to update it, it will download without a problem and then it will try to update and then it will give you an error. Now with Google Keyboard, I didn't get this error so I don't know if it's just you know random apps here and there but those are some of the errors that i was coming across with this iphone 6 clone but besides that it actually hasn't been that bad of course the ui is fairly sluggish but actually for a tech geek this is a definite must i actually had a lot more fun with this thing than i would ever imagine of course the cameras are quite crap on both sides here i mean you're not going to get anything great but of course it's got autofocus and it tries to mimic the camera app as you can see where the square and the panorama and it works okay and I've had the camera app crash on me a couple times so that's expected but the quality of it is nowhere near good as you can see here if you go to the photos I'm not even sure what megapixel camera this is but the quality is not very great and the video quality is not that great either so I don't think anybody's buying this unit for the camera quality so I just wanted to show you what the cameras can do and the actual web browsing itself not very good either as you can see it struggles to pull in rich graphics on simple websites it's not a problem at all but you can see it's fairly slow so it looks like it's using the stock browser and it's got a Cydia app for some reason but it's not Cydia it looks like it's just a change log so it might be getting some updates throughout time I'm not quite sure, so if you're curious, then follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific, and I'll let you know. But you also have a file manager here, which is kind of cool, and you also have app to SD, so that's pretty nice. This is definitely just a novelty item to have, but I definitely had a lot of fun showing this off to people today and they were fairly shocked because you can actually turn the screen on and it looks like iOS 8. So of course, I don't think anybody's gonna be using this as a daily driver or anything like that, but actually it's possible because technically it does have GSM bands in here. I haven't been able to get the actual data to work, but I haven't tried that hard. I haven't changed the APNs or anything but as you can see I am getting T-Mobile signal up there and it is possible to make phone calls on this I've actually made a few phone calls on this today like I said had way too much fun actually using this thing but you can make a phone call on this so let me demo this this is on a T-Mobile network but I was not able to get data quite yet but here is a phone call made with the iPhone 6 clone All right, so what do you guys think about this iPhone 6 clone? Actually, it's not really the clone that's the big deal. I think the biggest deal is actually this is the closest thing that we've had so far to see what the actual iPhone 6 would be like. It's got a functioning screen. All of the actual buttons work so I can get an idea of what the ergonomics are gonna be like. And actually, I like the placement of the power button. And actually, I think that one-handed use on this 4.7 inch model is definitely possible. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I'm able to control all of this with one hand. So it just gives me that idea of what the iPhone 6 could be like in the hand and the feel. And so far, I love it. I think we're definitely close to the final design here. I even have the Spigen case and it fits perfect on this iPhone 6 clone. So I think we're definitely looking at the final design here. But of course, this is all just rumor and speculation. But if this is the final design, then I'm definitely digging it. I think it takes a functional screen and just time of use to see what it would be like in the hand. And I am definitely looking forward to the new iPhone 6. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific. And thank you for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.